coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? How many of you guys go? When I wave at you, don't lie. I can see you. So, being a beauty vlogger that receives a lot of product because I am a beauty vlogger, I still like to haul from time to time. But it's gone to the point where like if I haul something, two things happen. I either haul because they're necessities or I haul and I'm just too embarrassed to share with you guys because I'm like, really, Danny, you're filming. You're in the midst of a decluttering season and you're hauling things. Shame on you, girlfriend. But just recently, Sephora had its VIB sale, which for the record is a total crock because 15% is whack attack, right? Sephora throws these like 20% coupons at us all the time, right? And then Sephora is like, well, maybe twice a year I'm gonna give you 15% off. Like literally, we're VIP customers. We deserve at least 20. And then they're like, oh, but it's only for Rouge and then it's only for VIP. Like, come on, stop it. Anyway, this is sounding like a rant video instead of an actual haul. Focus. So the purpose of this haul, this VIP Sephora whatever haul, was just to get essentials. Well, essentials, because let's be honest, I could use like, suave body lotion, but I'm kind of a brat. So <clears throat> I did this haul with my 15% off and I'm kind of looking forward to sharing it with you, but I'm also a little bit nervous about the judgment that will be imposed on me because I consider these things necessities. But I mean, I can get used to it. I'll, I can just, I'll just, I'll move on. So I guess let's go ahead and get started. These are actually essentials or Holy Grail products, or look how shiny my hair looks. Can we take a minute? Like, can we take a minute? This is all, a lot of people ask me like if I dye my hair and what color it is, like what box color it is. This is my actual real hair color. Now, if you see me out in direct sunlight, my hair is like a light orangey, like brassy brown, like by nature, it's brassy. Like it's almost like a caramelly brassy brown. Um, you can't tell in here, but if you guys were to see me outside, you would see my three hairs. They're a little orangey, brassy red, brownish, light brown. Can I think of another word to throw in there? Obviously, I'm kind of in a really good mood, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to show you, I actually got two because I'm compulsive. I got two of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Lines Serum. This is uh, my final step in my skincare routine, my daytime skincare routine. Um, I've been using it now for probably almost a year and I keep repurchasing it. I'm so happy with it. Now I do use a skin serum from Drunk Elephant and this is also considered a serum, but the texture of it is more of a moisturizer. So I really, really like stacking my serums. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Anyway, it's kind of pricey. It has the whole ounce of product. It lasts me about three or four months, but I do have to purchase it. And this is a Sephora exclusive product. So it's not like I can go get it at Ulta and use my points or get points on it. And it's also not like I can get a 20% discount on it. So whenever I get the 15% off at Sephora, mom was guts to get her serum. It's really good. I already filmed a daytime skincare routine video. Um, and I don't know when I'll post it. I have it done. I just, I don't know when I'll edit it, upload it, whatever. I'm also going to film a get unready with me video, which is essentially my nighttime skincare routine. This will be in there and I'll talk more about it in detail then. Now for other product essentials, um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done and the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I am in between shades with the naked skin, but right now, I have a hair on my face and it's bothering me so bad, you guys. Um, with the Urban Decay Naked Skin, I'm between shades. I'm between light and medium light. But right now, I've been doing a lot of landscape work in my like two feet of front yard and uh, I kind of got a tan. I'm kind of being braggadocious right now, but can we talk about this? Like, look at that. See my face is a totally different color because I wear a hat and sunscreen. <laughs> anyway, so this should be my perfect shade now. And then the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, I'm in the shade Buttercream. If you're tired of like that full coverage, full on, just gonna give you a whole second mask type foundations, this is a really great way to get started. They have good ingredients. 
They are good for the skin. Um, they do have sunscreen. Um, they are sheer products, but they're perfect for mixing with your favorite foundations. I use these on my own. When I'm not filming and I'm just trying to look kind of pr pretty and cutesy, I'll use these on their own. If I'm filming, I still like to see the freckles all over my nose. I still like to see that I have a giant zit that hasn't healed like on my cheekbone. Oh, it's right here. A giant zit that hasn't healed on my cheekbone. And I still highlight. I'm like, whatever, make it bigger, you know? Uh, I want to see all that. I want to see my panda eyes. I want to see all of that. And I want to see it through a foundation that breathes. So mixing this into your already loves, like your already holy grail medium to full coverage products is the best way to do that. And I'm kind of like, I'm already on the having to shake it out. So I wanted to refill those before I actually run out and take advantage of the discount. And then <coughs> this is where the judgment happens. So I talked about this in my monthly favorites. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream that's supposed to tighten your rear end and your thighs. And um, it's it has this guarana, I think is how you pronounce it, extract. And I'll just read you what it says. It has cupuaçu butter, acai, and coconut oil, guarana caffeine. Caffeine is supposed to like tighten up all areas of the face. There's a lot of moisturizer, serums, body lotions that have caffeine or black pepper extract. And they're supposed to like increase blood flow and like tighten everything up. Anyway, I got the small size of this when Sam came to visit. And I was kind of on the fence because the scent of it is a little strong. It like doesn't dissipate. It just stays strong. <clears throat> and then I just couldn't decide. I was like, but I, I kind of like it. You know, I kind of like it. And then one day I was out there playing with the boys. I had put on this lotion and I looked down on my legs and my legs are shimmering like a sexy, intelligent, super seductive golden unicorn. I was like, what? Since when do my legs glow like this? And it wasn't, oh, it smells so good. It smells like you can lick it. Like it literally smells like frosting or something. <laughs> anyway, so I'm out there just swinging with the boys, kicking around a ball, whatever. And then I looked down on my legs and I was like, damn, Gina. Like it looked so good. It doesn't look like glitter. It doesn't look like you get dollars thrown at you. It was beautiful. And I was like, yes, listen, shorts and dress season is here. It's upon us. And I want to look like a sexy glowy unicorn, even if that means I have to buy a $40 lotion. In my defense, I used the 15% discount code and I just figured because the warmer months are amongst us that I would need to. And then I just wouldn't have to buy anymore until next, no, that's not even true. <laughs> and since I had already bought the lotion, I mean, why not put the body spray in there as well? I mean, the cart, need, it looked like it needed another yellow box in the little shopping cart. So I was like, okay, Danny, let's, uh, let's get this together. So I added the body splash to the cart and this is called the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Now, okay, let me read you the notes. Pistachio almond, heliotrope and jasmine petals, and vanilla salted caramel and sandalwood. I'm very conflicted because you put it on and you smell like you put on like almost like a sun tanning lotion or like you've been tanning in the sun or I don't know, like you're really sexy. Um, and then throughout the day, I get these like almost like whiffs where I feel like I smell like B.O. And the reason I tell you that I, I don't smell like B.O. is because I'm like, damn, I forget to put on deodorant and I do the pit check. Yes, shamefully so, I'm admitting it. I'll do the pit check. I'll go in there and I'll be like, no, it's not me. I mean, it could very well be me because we've talked about this before. If I don't use deodorant, like super strong clinical strength for men, I'll smell like B.O. I don't smell like B.O. What else could it be? So I'm thinking that maybe there is a an essential oil or a fragrance note in this formula that my pH doesn't like. 
Do you, have you guys ever heard that? Like Sam uses Chanel uh, Chance, oh fresh, no, oh Tundra, the, the gentle, soft, like almost baby powder smelling one. It smells amazing on her. If I put it on, it smells awful. So there are certain fragrances that, you know, warm up or react differently to your pH, your, your, like your, your body's pH. Um, and they, they smell a little rancid. So I'm going to give it a shot. I just wore it once, but I'm actually kind of nervous to use it again because I might smell like BO. So I really should try it on a day where I know I'm not going to be around any other humans because I would be mortified to smell like BO. Like I would rather walk out of a public bathroom with like my, my dress tucked into my underwear or I don't know, like my, my tampon falls out of my purse on a date. Like I would rather that happen to me than to smell like BO. That mortifies me, but anyway, I guess I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, and then I got this little guy with my 100 point perk or whatever. This is the triple stack. If you guys ever wanna redeem your points, don't do it ordering online because you can only add one of the things that you like, uh, unless you wanna place multiple orders. If you're in a store, you go into a store and you're like, give me six of those, and then they give you the product that you like. This is obviously a sham. I could probably get like two sprays out of this and then it's done, but I mean, it's miniature, right? Um, and then I got this perfume because I thought it would be great to layer with this. So I would put on this sexual lotion. I would put on the fragrance mist. That's what it's called, right? Yes, fragrance mist. And then I would put on this perfume. <coughs> Excuse me. I would not die. And then I would put on this perfume on my pulse points. So when I was working at Victoria's Secret through college, we would go to these workshops where they would teach us about like layering fragrance and how to measure bras and how to properly apply lip liner. Like we'd go to all these cool workshops. And one of the workshops was on fragrance, on their notes, on how they function, on how the body reacts to them, on how they warm up, how you're not supposed to rub them. Like if you want to put perfume in your hair, you spray your brush and then let the alcohol dissipate and then brush your hair. Hey, you learn something every day, right? <clears throat> anyway, so I thought this is from Replica, the brand Replica, and it's called Beach Walk. I think, I think that's the name. It's so weird, like the labeling is so bizarre. This is one of those really fancy perfumes, like the kind that they only sell at like really fancy places like Saks and Neiman's, but Sephora also carries it. So I got the Rollerball, cause the Rollerball was like $30. The full size is like 200 bucks. And I wasn't even sure if I was gonna like it. It's very rare that I'll order a perfume online without actually trying it in person. It smells good, but in my mind, I thought the name Beach Walk, these like beachy type products like Brazil, bronzing, like in my mind, I thought it would just, I would just work, you know, like obviously it's going to layer well together. I just, I figured. I still can't decide if I like it. It smells good sometimes. Other times it smells a little mature. It always smells good. I just don't think it smells good on me. So I'm going to have to put it to the test. You know what? I'm just going to have to go to the mall and be like, can you smell me? No. <laughs> How does it smell on me? Maybe it's one of those things where you don't smell. It doesn't smell good to you, but it actually does smell good on you. I think I'm just convincing myself. I think I hate it. And then the last three things that I got. You guys. It's uh, in, in my in my in my job, it's really hard for me to find a product, a new product that's an existing type of item that is so good that it makes you want to punch a puppy. I said it. I said it. I know I'm going to offend people, but listen, I have four dogs. I'm not going to actually punch a puppy. It's just an expression. But for example, I've tried so many foundations. It's really hard for me to try a new foundation where I'm like, holy crap. It's like, wow. You know? So I've tried a whole bunch of lipsticks, a whole bunch of like those staple products. I have monthly favorites. I have products that I try and I love, but for a new product to get invented from a brand that is a staple like product that is that life changing is rare. Kat Von D be changing my life, yo. So Kat Von D's lip liners. <sighs> they need a moment of silence because they basically murdered every other lip liner in the world. 
So this is kind of where the judgment is going to happen because the three colors that I got are very similar to one another, but these are the types of lip liners that when I line my entire mouth and put nothing else on, these are the type of color, types of colors that I use. So I got Lolita, OG Lolita, and Lovecraft, and I'm going to insert some swatches so you guys can see them. I'm not wearing one today, by the way. This is just a um, leftover from dinner. <laughs> um, okay, I'm conflicted because they're smooth, they're pigmented, they don't sink into my Team Raisin Lip wrinkles. Like, they're amazing, so good, and you don't have to sharpen them. I don't have anything against lip liners that I have to sharpen, for the record, but... You don't have to sharpen them. The um, uh, container, the dispenser, the whatever, the packaging is exactly like the Rimmel, um, Rimmel lip exaggerate, exaggerating, lip exaggerating, whatever, uh, exaggerate. <laughs> exaggerate, anyway. So the packaging is the same as like the Maybelline lip liners and I think the new L'Oreal lip liner, or is it Maybelline? The new Maybelline lip liners, the Revlon lip liners, um, the Rimmel lip liners, same exact packaging. So if you're familiar with it, you know how silk and, silky and buttery and smooth like the actual packaging is, it's very sleek. The actual lip liner is like butter, but butter that once it locks onto your lips is not coming off. I did these swatches on my skin and they would not come off with oil-based makeup remover. You know that when you use that heavy duty stuff, you go in with coconut oil or you go in with an oil-based makeup remover and it breaks it down. Let me tell you, there was a lot of redness happening here from the scrubbing. They don't come off. So essentially this has turned into a review. No, it's not a review. They're amazing, they're wonderful. And you guys know that I have a bias over lip liners I have a bias for lip liners over lipsticks, over liquid matte lipsticks, over anything, over lip glosses. They're my number one go-to lip product. I would rather completely line my lips with lip liner than do or use anything else. That's probably why like, my lip liner declutter is gonna be like 72 hours long. And you know how much I rave about the ColourPop lip liners, about how soft and buttery and pigmented and they last all day, blah, 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 blah. Like I'm always talking about them. But A, they dry out quickly. B, you have to sharpen them. And C, <clears throat> they are not, believe it or not, they are not as soft as the Kat Von D ones. I just don't understand. It's almost like they put a lipstick into lip liner form and then made it stick onto your lips so good that it's like a tattoo. A full-on lip liner tattoo. I wonder if that's what they're called. No, it's called the Everlasting Lip Liner. Anyway, so that is it for this haul. Yeah, I'm definitely not digging that perfume. <laughs> <laughs> it's making my cough act up. Anyway, so that is it for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, definitely don't like that perfume. Um, Man, can you return perfume? I think I would feel kind of silly returning a used $29 perfume. I guess I could. Sephora takes perfumes back, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it away. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked like always. I will list and link all these products in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a get ready with me that I filmed with this face. Maybe not with this ratchet lip, but um, I do have one ready. So I will list it or link it in the description box below if it's live. If not, it will be soon. Um, and I think that's it. You know what you should do? You should leave me in the comment section, like your favorite thing that you purchased from the VIB sale. Cause let's be honest, y'all did a haul too. So leave me that in the comment section below and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.